Hi everyone, welcome to the Laser Channel where we learn, create, and share. My name is Greg, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the L2 Laser Machine by Toka. Welcome back and thanks for joining me for another video on the laser channel. I can't wait to start sharing some of the features about this L2 laser machine with you. The brand name Toka first hit my radar about a year ago and about a month ago I had the opportunity to talk with some of the people over at Toka and they were able to send me this L2 machine with the air assist kit and I'm pretty excited to share some of the features and some of my feedback with you that'll be in this video along with I'm going to be running some sample projects with and without software so make sure you stay tuned for all of that. Let's take a look at the L2 machine that I have in front of me, starting out with the laser source. The machine that I have has a powerful 20 watt laser module, and I think 20 watts is that perfect balance between good cutting power, but still having that fine, delicate detail for all of that nice engraving. The L2 is also available in a two and a half watt and a 10 watt version, and those laser modules are easily interchangeable on the L2 platform. The work area comes in at 415 by 395 millimeters. When I convert that over to inches, I get 16.3 by 15 and a half inches, which is right on par with today's tabletop laser machine. The laser module has a built-in focus lever for engraving and a step-down block for easier, deeper cutting action. Focus is quickly set with a convenient lock lever. There's no fussy thumb screws to deal with. The machine rails are accompanied by large, oversized wheels that provide more stability and longer wear. Of course, there's the big orange enclosure. This orange enclosure is also eye-friendly. When we take a look at the interior of this enclosure, we're going to see that the lid has two gas trucks that easily keep the lid open when we're working inside of the machine. Also inside of the enclosure is going to be three LED light strips. Located to the rear of the machine is a truly useful high flow exhaust fan. There's even more safety built into this orange enclosure. There's a safety switch built into the front. When the lid is opened, all motion and laser action stops inside of the machine. The machine exterior has a multicolor LED light strip to indicate the machine status. As mentioned, my machine also includes an air assist pump. The air assist pump has a variable speed controller built into the power cord that way I can run lower air pressure when I'm doing engraving and then when I'm doing cutting, I can turn the air pressure up all the way getting that clean, deep cutting action. Other neat things include a toolbox kit with the nicest assembly tool I have ever seen. A user guide with assembly and machine use. Some sample materials. Assembly screw bags for the case. See how clearly they're labeled a USB safety key. The machine can only run with the USB key installed. My only concern with the L2 machine was actually when I opened the box, I was greeted by all the pieces and parts for this large orange enclosure, including all of the nice metal pieces and brackets. And I was a little bit worried about the assembly time of both the enclosure and the L2 laser machine itself. But as I dug deeper into the box, I realized that the L2 laser machine comes all pre-assembled, needing only placement of the laser module and the four feet. By the way, the manual does a fantastic job guiding me through step-by-step -step, the assembly of the enclosure. When it comes to software, the L2 is compatible with both the free laser gerbil software and the paid light burn software. The L2 is also able to run locally without a computer connected up to it using the included TF memory card. 
There's certainly more features on this machine, and I'm going to have a link to this machine in the video description for you to check out. Now that I've covered a lot of the features on the machine, it's time to see it in action. And for the first project, I'm going to run the machine without the computer connected. I'm going to run the machine locally, running the sample project file located on the included TF memory card. Focus is easily set for this first project by lowering the focusing arm. We're going to lower the laser module until the tip of that arm touches the workpiece. The laser module is lowered by releasing this lock lever, lowering it down, and re-engaging the lock lever, making sure to flip the focusing arm back up in its resting place. I can check that the material is placed in the correct area of the machine by framing the project out. For this, I'll close the lid and I'll press the button on the front once to frame the project. That looks perfect. When I'm ready to run, I'll press the button twice and the project will start. Project's complete, and let's check this out. Ooh, that cut out very cleanly. The very first project on the L2 ran without a computer. I'll get this cleaned up with some LA's Totally Awesome, and it'll look even better yet. The first project is complete, and we're going to move on to the second project right away. For the second one, I'm going to use my laptop computer to connect up to the machine, using the ever-popular Lightburn software. The first thing I'm going to do before I run the Lightburn software is I'm going to locate the TF card that comes with the machine, and I'm going to take all the files on that memory stick, and I'm going to copy them onto my computer. Here's what those files look like, and this is the file that we're going to be looking for when we set up Lightburn software. In Lightburn software, there's going to be two main groups of people. The first group are those who are running Lightburn for the very first time and have never connected a machine up to the software. If you fall into that group, this is the landing screen that you'll see within Lightburn software. Minus your device list, of course, is going to be empty. But essentially, the software is going to be asking, what machine would you like to connect up to the computer? Here, we're going to pause for a second and talk about the second group of people that I fall into. I've already connected a machine up to Lightburn software. And this is the landing screen that I'll see. It'll be the last machine that I connected to, and I'll simply click on Devices. From here, I'm going to click on Import, and I'm going to navigate to where I copied those files from the TF card that we saw just a minute ago, and here is the device profile for the L2 laser machine. I'll click on that and then open. If I scroll down to the bottom here, we'll see here's the Toka L2 laser machine, and I can click OK. And I'm now ready to power on my machine. I like that beep when the machine first powers up. From here, I can click on the Choose button and Click on either Auto or mine has a COM port 9. I'll click on that. And I can click on Home to see if I've got movement on the machine. Oh, look at that. Everything is working perfectly. From here, I'm ready to import a graphic and start the second project. I've imported my artwork, and right now it's a picture file and I want to convert it over to a scalable vector graphic or an SVG. And I can do that within Lightburn software. Once I have the object selected, I can go over to Tools and Trace Image. And I can scroll wheel in 
and I can adjust these slide bars at the bottom here until I capture the right amount of detail. I like the way that this looks and I'm going to make sure that delete image after trace that that's checked on because I don't want the image after I do the tracing. That looks perfect and I'm going to select this one more time and this is going to be the engraving that I do but I also want to cut this out. With my artwork selected I'll navigate to the side here over to offset shape and I'm going to choose an offset distance of two millimeters. This looks good. And I'm going to select that outline shape that I just drew. And I'm going to put that on a different layer. Now we're going to see that I've got two layers now. This layer 00 is going to be a fill layer. And this next layer is going to be a line because I'm going to be cutting out this project. The next steps from here are going to be identical from when we ran the first project. I'll set the focus of the laser machine, make sure that I have my material positioned correctly within the work area of the machine, and I'll be ready to hit the start button. The second project is complete and it looks great. I'm going to clean this project and the first project with LA's Totally Awesome. And we'll see what these look like once they're all cleaned up. With both projects cleaned up, it reveals even more fine engraving detail. I've been using the L2 both on camera and off camera and it's been really nice. I like the performance, the features, and I think the price point is really nice with everything that's included. I had a lot of fun creating this video content. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving this video a like, subscribe to the channel, or ring that notification bell. Not only is it a great way to help the Laser Channel grow, it's an awesome way to connect content like this with great viewers just like you. Well, until we meet again in the next video, learn, create, and share.